Welcome, seekers of wisdom, to a journey through the profound and enigmatic realms of ancient knowledge and spirituality. In this sacred space, we shall explore the eternal flame, the inner sanctum, and the depths of human consciousness. Prepare to embark on a transformative voyage into the mysteries of the sacred flame upon the altar. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join us as we ignite the flames of enlightenment. The path to wisdom begins here. Throughout human history, fire has held a paramount role in the religious rituals and ceremonies of humanity. In nearly every faith, one can trace the existence of revered altar fires, vigilantly safeguarded by their entrusted clergy and consecrated guardians, often with greater devotion than their very lives. The sacred fires, referenced in numerous passages of the Bible, stand as one form of devotion among the ancient Israelites. The altar of burnt offerings, a relic as ancient as the human race itself, finds its origins in the time when the inaugural human gazed upon the sun, the formidable fire spirit of the cosmos, emerging from the mists of ancient Lemuria. Among the adherents of Zoroaster, the venerable Persian initiate, fire has been a venerable symbol of reverence for millennia, paying homage to the great fire god, Ormuzd, whom they credit with creating the universe. Human history reveals two distinct facets intrinsically tied to the doctrines of fire and water, the elemental opposites. Those who tread the path of faith and the heart gravitate towards water and bear the appellation sons of Seth. On the contrary, those who align with the path of the intellect and action, identified as the children of Cain, emanate from Samael, the spirit of fire. Presently, we find these latter practitioners among the ranks of alchemists, hermetic philosophers, Rosicrucians, and Freemasons. It is imperative for us to recognize that we, ourselves, represent the cubic altar upon which the altar fire blazes. For countless centuries, the fire initiate has diligently nurtured and defended the spiritual flame residing within, much akin to how ancient priests maintained ceaseless vigils over Vesta's temple's altar fires. The perennially burning alchemical lamp, which has burned for millennia in the catacombs of Rome without any discernible fuel, symbolizes this very spiritual fire that dwells within. The illustration portrays an ever-burning lamp carried by the initiate on their spiritual journey, with its peak adorned by a gentle, flickering blue and crimson flame. Much like the ancient's lamp, sustained by the purest olive oil, humans transmit and purify the essential life essences within, which, when directed upward, serve as the fuel for their personal, unceasing inner lamp. In ancient times, altars bore witness to offerings and sacrifices in homage to deities. The ancient hierophants presented offerings of aromatic spices and incense. Among contemporary Masonic circles, an incense burner or censer remains a symbolic vestige, although few recognize its true meaning. Such objects represent the development of the individual. Just as the small ember smoldering amidst the aromatic cubes gradually consumes them all, the spiritual flame within students steadily consumes and transmutes the base elements and characteristics within, offering their essence as smoke upon the altar of divinity. In the annals of history, King Solomon completed his temple by offering bull sacrifices upon the temple altar. The frequent references to animal sacrifice in the Bible have often perplexed those advocating a more humane lifestyle. Students, however, discern that these sacrifices are celestial in nature, connected to the zodiac. When a ram or a bull was offered upon the altar, it symbolized the qualities within humanity linked to Aries, the celestial ram, and Taurus, the celestial bull. Essentially, the initiate, after overcoming trials and purifications, sacrifices his lower, instinctual desires and animalistic traits upon the altar of his elevated self. Within Masonic Brotherhood, one can also find the symbol of mortality, featuring a spade, a coffin, and an open grave, with an acacia sprig gracefully resting atop the coffin. In the illustration, the grave digger's spade symbolizes death and has retained this significance for centuries. In the Book of Thoth, an enigmatic document passed down through the ages as a deck of playing cards, the symbolism of the spade suit stands out. Remarkably, all the court cards in the spade suit face away from the central emblem, diverging from the standard depictions where the faces of kings and queens focus on the corner marker. The spade, traditionally associated with death, holds a distinct meaning for esoteric scholars. Observing the image of the spade, one can discern, if versed in anatomy, that the grave digger's spade is, in fact, the spinal column, and the spade-shaped motif featured on playing cards represents the sacrum bone. This bone forms the foundation of the spinal column and serves as the spear of the passion. Through the sacrum and the firmans it houses, the roots of the spinal nerve, likened to the roots of the tree of life, traverse. It acts as the nexus through which the lower vertebrae of the spine, including the sacrum and coccygeal bones, construct the resting place for all that exists. 
This allegory is beautifully symbolized by the grave digger spade, a representation long utilized by mystical societies. The energies coursing through these lower spinal nerves necessitate transmutation and elevation towards the upper end of the spine, where they fuel the positive altar fire. The focus of one's thoughts and emotions on higher or lower aspects determines where this vital energy finds expenditure. Should the lower emotions prevail, the altar flame dims and may extinguish, as the energy resources have concentrated on lower centers. Yet, when altruism takes precedence, the lower forces ascend, passing through a process of purification that permits them to be used as fuel for the ever-burning inner lamp. Hence, we grasp the significance of never allowing the lamp to extinguish, for the pillar of flames that hovers above the tabernacle, purified and readied according to the instructions of the Most High, represents the spiritual flame that, in its ethereal presence, guides humanity's path wherever it may lead. The sun of our solar system, specifically, the spiritual sun concealed behind the tangible globe, mirrors such flames. It commenced its journey no more significant than our own, growing in size through the attraction and transmutation of its ever-multiplying energies. In the human context, this flame constitutes the light that shineth in darkness. It represents the spiritual flame dwelling within, illuminating the path in a manner no external light can rival. As this inner radiance expands outward, it unveils the hidden mysteries of the universe, dispelling ignorance in proportion to the illumination. The lamp of the philosopher serves as the torchbearer through the obscure alleys of existence, allowing one to traverse rocky terrain and narrow precipices without fear. However, without this inner light, even if one attains all else, they remain unaware of their path, unable to monitor their steps, and incapable of vanquishing ignorance with the beacon of truth. Therefore, it is imperative for each student to vigilantly tend to the fire ablaze on their inner altar. They should strive to craft their own body into a harmonious and exquisite altar and, day by day, offer frankincense and myrrh, their actions and deeds, as sacrifices upon this altar. Much like the offerings made in the tabernacle to the altar of divinity, they must strive to banish the symbols of mortality, the coffin and the open grave, by conquering the lower emotions within. This is the way to recognize that, despite life's potential stagnation or apathy, the sprig of acacia, the promise of life and immortality, resides within. And even if the flame of life appears faint or waning, through daily actions, one can rekindle the altar flame within, a living tribute to the living divinity. Thank you for joining us on this sacred journey into the mysteries of the ages. We hope you've found illumination and inspiration. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the sacred flame, remember to like this video, share it with fellow seekers, and subscribe to our channel for more profound revelations. As we continue to unveil ancient secrets, your support keeps the flame alive. Together, we shall uncover the profound wisdom that has stood the test of time.